So today we're gonna to set up all the tools you need in order to run Crew AI on your computer. Now this isn't gonna be a technical walkthrough. In fact, I'm gonna hold your hand through all of it. And really we're not gonna get into any of the coding, any of the technical stuff. We're just gonna make sure that you have all the tools that you need to use this application. Now, if you've heard of Crew AI, I'm sure you've heard of how when you're using tools like ChatGPT, it can, get, it can become a little bit tiresome to constantly having to start a new chat to ask it about a separate topic or a different level of expertise but with Cray AI you can actually get multiple multiple agents to basically talk to each other in order, in order to get you better information. Now as I mentioned earlier we're not going to get into any of the technical terminology or even any of the technical concepts. The goal here is that if you're a beginner you have no coding experience you have no experience with AI but I've been wanting to get started working on it we're gonna make sure that you have everything you need on your desktop, assuming that this is basically a computer with no other programs installed. If this is the first project you've ever done in computer science and programming or in AI, this can be perfect for you in order to be at a place where you can start working with this application. We will work with this application, walk through some of the concepts, but that'll be for a later video. Again, this is supposed to be very bare bones, very beginner friendly to get you from basically a blank computer to having all the tools you need in order to run Crew AI. So let's get started. This is gonna be basically two parts. First, you're gonna install Visual Studio Code. That's gonna be where you edit your code. We're gonna install Git. That's what's called version control. Basically, that's what's gonna let you download the free version of Crew AI, which is available by the creator. Then for part two, we're gonna get started with installing the packages and dependencies you need in order to run Crew AI. So downloading the code for Crew AI isn't gonna be enough. There are some other tools you're gonna to need on your computer in order to be able to run this project. Now I do want to emphasize again, if this is the first time you work with some kind of technical project, there are going to be some things you see here that might look a little bit confusing, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed, but we're not going to focus on that at this point. And that's one of the things that you do need to understand about the technical field is there's always going to be new tools, new technologies to learn, and a part of that process is going to be to get comfortable with a new technology that you've never used before. Now, if you've ever seen people working on projects and you feel like they know it all and they know so much more than you, that's a lie, that's not true. All of these people have at any point, at many points in their lives, been at a place where they felt uncomfortable by the challenges of what they had to learn. And the fact that you're in that spot right now just means that you're going in the right direction. So we're going to get started. So first we're going to install Visual Studio Code. So all Visual Studio Code is, is this is going to be your code editor. Any code that is written or handled is going to be used here. We're on a Mac, so we're going to download the Mac version. So once it finishes downloading, we're going to start that up. And just like that, congratulations, you have your first code editor running on your computer. So now that that's done, we're going to go to this page and install Brew on your computer. So all Brew is, in the most non-technical aspect, is a tool you're going to download to your Mac that's going to let you download other tools to your Mac. Now, if you want to read up on that, that's completely up to you, but this is going to come in handy, especially if you're on a Mac. So you're really going to end up using this throughout your career or throughout your studies as you do it, so you might as well do it now. So when you install Homebrew, is you're just going to copy this command, as we see in this web page. You're going to go to your code editor, and we're going to open the terminal from here, from your code editor. That's just where you type commands for your Mac. So you go to Terminal, New Terminal. It's going to appear here at the bottom. And then we're just going to paste that command we copied from the Homebrew website. Now, if you do have a password for your account, it is going to ask you for your password. And keep in mind, as you type this, you're not going to actually see any characters moving along in the line. So just make sure you type it right. Alright, so once it finishes installing, you do need to copy and run this command at the end of it so that you can make sure you can get brew on your command line. So after you run that command, you want to test out the brew command to make sure that it was installed and it is running properly on your machine. And for that, all you can do is type brew and enter. And if you didn't install it properly, you're going to get a message that says command not found. So we see all the list of commands here or the options for brew. So that's how we know that we're able to get that set up. So we're gonna move on to the next step. So now for the next step, we're gonna install git. So all git is, is what they call version control. So in the simplest way that I can explain this is that git is used so you can share your projects with other people and vice versa so that other people can share the projects with you. 
Create is on GitHub. That's going to be the platform where they uploaded their code. So that's where we're going to download it from. And for that, we need to have Git installed in our machine. And again, the installation is super simple. All we have to do is type this command, brew install git. And again, that's why we installed brew in our machine. And that's what's going to download it to our computer. So we just copy and paste it. And just like that, you've installed Git in your machine. So we're pretty much halfway there. Just to recap, we installed our code editor, that was VS Code. We installed Brew, that's our package manager for our machine. And then we installed Git, that's gonna be how we share the code from other projects and download them to our machine. So now we're gonna move on to the things that are more specific to the actual CreAI project. So first we're gonna do a little quick tour of the CreAI project website. So when you, once you go to it, you see here, they have some references to their repo, their documentation, and you can actually chat with a chatbot they set up in ChatGPT to ask questions about the project. So just to start, let's look at the repo right here. Now this page, their project is in GitHub. This is where they uploaded their project for other people to download and to, you know, if they wanna make changes or wanna you do something with the project, they're able to download it from here. That's the reason we install Git. We're not gonna download this version of the project just yet. We're actually gonna start with the samples. Again, and here Korea I did a lot of great work in terms of what they call documentation, that is the directions that you need to install and work with the project. But I do feel like even though it is pretty clear, it might be geared towards somebody that has a little bit more technical expertise. And I think for any project that you work on, one of the most frustrating things at the beginning can be just getting set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our website and we go to this part where they say documentation you're able to see some of the other guides they have for this. Now you're more than welcome to read these. I definitely recommend it once you get more curious in this project. But for right now, we're gonna look at their examples. So this actually takes you to another repo. Again, repo is just short for repository. Repositories where the creator or the developer uploaded their code. And here we see that they actually made a few projects for Korea. These are kind of like sample projects. You have this job posting project, you have this stock analysis project, and you have this starter template. So these were all the ones that they set up in order for people to start making their own crews with Crew AI once they got set up. So we'll be able to download this in just a minute. But again, just want to walk you through what the website looks like for Crew AI and just so you could see how they organize all the documentation for developers. So now that we're on the Crew AI GitHub page, we're gonna download this to our machine. Again, that's what we install Git in our machine for. And the command to do that is gonna be very simple. Again, you're gonna click up here you're gonna copy this link. This link is basically a reference to this page you're looking at for the project. And you're gonna copy this. Now in our code editor, we're gonna clear this up just so I don't have to worry about the other things on top. So we're just gonna type clear just to remove everything. And then the command we're gonna use so we can download that project to our computer is gonna be git clone. And then from here, we're just gonna paste the link that we copied from GitHub. So the command is just git clone and then the link for the repository. And just like that, you were basically able to download all these files from the crew, from the crew AI team onto your computer. The command you can use just to check where that folder is on your command line, you can type ls. Now, I know I didn't go over any command line commands. You can very easily look these up on Google or ChatGPT, but there's only gonna be a few you really need to know that you're gonna be using most of the time. So you can see here, this is where we have our Crew AI examples. Now, if you remember on the GitHub website for this Crew AI examples, there was multiple ones that they showed us. Right now, the only one to focus on is the one called Start Template. So it's gonna be the basic bare bones Crew AI agent that we're gonna work with. So what we're gonna do now on Visual Studio is we're gonna open this as its own project. So you go to Visual Studio, so you're gonna go to File, Open Folder, you're gonna find the Crew AI Examples folder, and then you're gonna go down to Start Template, and you're gonna hit Open. So now here you have your environment set up to start working only with that project. So now that we have our Crew AI project set up on Visual Studio Code, there are a couple of other tools we're gonna need in order to install Python, in order to install some of the other dependencies that the program needs. 
Now, dependencies just refers to other libraries or other tools that the repository you're using might need that might not be locally installed on your computer. Now, these may be multiple tools and they may be specific versions. So that's why it's important that we have these tools installed and otherwise, and otherwise the tool probably won't run without these. So the first one we're gonna install is called pipx. So pipx is just a tool that helps you run programs that are written in Python. Now, in the case of the Crew AI tool, it was written in Python, so that's why we need to install it. And as you can see, the link we clicked to install pipx just takes us to another repository. So we scroll down, this is gonna be where we find the command that we need in order to install pipx. Again, we're gonna use brew again to install pipx, and then we're gonna use this other command to make sure that we have it in our command line. So in Visual Studio Code, you wanna to go to terminal, open a new terminal, And once pipx is done installing, we're going to do the ensure path command. So if we type pipx, we should see all the commands and options that are available for that command. And now that we see that, we know the installation was successful. So now that we have pipx installed, we're going to move on to install poetry. Again, this is going to be another package manager that the crew AI program needs. So because the Crew AI tool is written in Python, there are multiple Python dependencies, libraries, frameworks that it needs in order to run. That's what we're gonna use Poetry for. So again, this is the command that we need in order to install Poetry in our machine. So we're just gonna copy and paste that in our command line. And we can see here that Poetry was successfully installed. And here we see the version that was installed for Poetry. And just like that, we're able to install all the tools that our machine needs in order to run the Crew AI application. Now again, my goal here was to avoid any coding, anything too technical, but uh, just focus on making sure that you have everything set up so you can start working with this application. On the next video, we'll get a little more into the coding aspect for what we're gonna use when we start running this application. If this is the first time you heard about any of these tools, I want you to pat yourself on the back because you're very well on the road to becoming a developer, whether that's making applications where that's artificial intelligence. A big part of this is gonna be being comfortable with things that you haven't done before. So thank you for watching. I do look forward to setting up the rest of the project with you. If you have any questions about installation or anything you got stuck on during this process, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to help you out.